Oh well. When it comes to data analysis, lookups are one of the most important Excel functions that you need to master. And I'm betting that you already know some of the basics of lookups. So in this video, I'm going to present five of my favorite advanced tricks when it comes to working with lookups in Excel. I also have got an exciting announcement for you. I recently launched a complete crash course on Excel lookup formulas that teaches you modern and advanced techniques for doing lookups and combining various lookup techniques to achieve more out of your data analysis. I'll talk about that towards the end of the video, but for now, let's jump into the five tricks. The first trick is pattern matching. So here we got a name that begins with Kai and I just want to figure out what is their quantity for the May data. We could use VLOOKUP like this, VLOOKUP, lookup value. Now when you say lookup value, because the name begins with Kai, instead of just looking up for K4, we will just say K4 ampersand in the double quotes star. That means it needs to begin with K4, but after that there can be anything. And then our data is on the data table. May is the fourth column. And then we will say false and we'll get the answer for Kane Padley in the month of May 73. The second trick is looking up in two tables. Here we got some product ID and a mapping product name table. So we thought we could go and look up the product name, but some of the product names are coming up as NA. This is because our product data is not in a single table, but it is actually split into new products and old products. So how do I do the lookup? One technique is to use the if error function to solve this conundrum. So we simply say if error, if my original VLOOKUP comes up with an error, then do a second VLOOKUP on the product ID in the old products table. So prod underscore old and then get to the corresponding name. So what this will do is it will run this second VLOOKUP only if my first VLOOKUP failed and it will fix those NA errors. The third trick is multi-column results. Let's say we want to add up all the three month total for Gigi Bowling sales. So that means I want to add up these three values. We could use VLOOKUP like this. VLOOKUP, lookup value in the data table. Now when the return column, instead of one month, because we want the columns three, four, and five that correspond to April, May, and June, curly brackets three, four, five, and then say false. What this VLOOKUP does is it technically gives you an array of all the three values that correspond to Gigi sales. Now, if you are using this in Excel 365, when you press enter, you will get all the three values returned to you in a range like this. But in an older versions of Excel, the values will be still there. They won't spill into the other cells. From this, if you just send the values to the sum function, it will add up those values and it will give you the answer as 96. Just a note of caution though, if you are using any other version of Excel other than Excel 365, you need to write this sum formula, but press Control Shift Enter. This next one is interesting. We can combine all the matches into one result by using a little bit of trickery. So let's say we got the name Gunnar and I just want to see which IDs Gunnar has purchased. Now, as you could see, this name appears multiple times throughout the data. So instead of using VLOOKUP, which can only work and get you the first matching value, we can use the text join function. This is introduced newly in Excel 2016 and you can use this to combine multiple text values. So we will want to see all these IDs separated by comma. So I'll say comma and then ignore empty needs to be true. And where the text values are asked, if we will use the if formula. If my name column is equal to Gunnar, then I want my product ID column. Else I just want blank space. So this if formula will return all the matching product IDs where the name happens to be Gunnar. And then it will send that list to text join, which will then combine that with comma separated values, giving you these three product IDs. The fifth one is there is a better option, especially if you are using Excel 365, you should try to migrate to the XLOOKUP function instead of VLOOKUP. XLOOKUP works just like VLOOKUP, but offers a few more conveniences. So for example, if I want to look up on the April quantity and find out who the person is, we can't use the VLOOKUP because April quantity is in the middle. Here I can use the XLOOKUP function like this, XLOOKUP, lookup value, and then lookup array is April and return array is name. So we want the number to be looked up in the April column and get the name. 
and it will give you that notice that we don't have to specify the false parameter or anything it will always do exact lookups by default i hope you found that five tricks very useful as mentioned earlier i recently launched a complete compact one hour crash course on excel lookup formulas for data analysis this course has 11 videos and 11 sample workbooks each lesson teaches you one concept on lookup formulas either the simple ones like xlookup and vlookups or more advanced ones like how to fetch all matching results as a table or how to do multiple criteria lookups or how to reconcile two tables using lookup formulas there is also a class project so that you can test your skills and improve your lookup uh, abilities when you are working within excel this course is available right now on the skillshare online learning platform you can use my link which is on the description or the comments of this video to access the course as a special bonus when you click on my link you will get one month free premium access to the skillshare platform that means you can enjoy my course but you can also enjoy other courses on tech creativity or other aspects of data analysis that are available on the skillshare platform i just want to sincerely thank you for all the love and support that you show on chandu.org and my mission to make you awesome in your work please check out the link in the description if you would like to learn more about lookups through my skillshare course thanks bye bye